Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of EmperorRux.com. My name is Mike. I'm the moderator in the series of videos that is all about Persian rugs and carpets from around the world. And in this video, I'm going to show you multiple things involving silk rugs. One, we just received a beautiful framed Herakay rug. And even though we do not sell our rugs framed when we are able to get these types of pieces because these are very rare and in this case this is a very fine Herakay rug this was purchased by a family who then had it custom framed and whenever I find unique ways of people having framed their rugs or hung up their rugs I always feature them in different videos and basically show you examples just like I did over here we had a hurricane that was also actually placed behind glass and I do apologize if you see a bit of glare it's from the warehouse lighting here and I also have made videos where I show you how we hang up the rugs literally like this large world map rug of mine how we hang it on the walls um, and so in this video, I like to do multiple things. Number one, I'm going to show you briefly this beautifully framed rug and how they did the framing. For those of you who are into Persian rugs, you like to hang them on walls. And some of you actually want to display them almost like paintings, like art. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you this version of it, which I think is absolutely beautiful. Second, I'm going to introduce you to another rare type of Turkish silk rug. And what is really unique about this is this is one of the few living still rug manufacturing Herakay weavers. But there is a big asterisk with it. This is a beautiful 1414 quality Kohan Ali. The Kohan Ali workshop is becoming very well known. It's actually one of the few that are just absolute, I call them artists. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting them. This is one of two pieces that we have had. We also had a Last Supper one that we sold recently. But this is one of the few still remaining weavers that make beautiful rugs but when i say asterisk as i mentioned earlier there is an issue and the issue is decades ago the word herike was basically thrown into the trash by the turkish government the turkish government said well people seem to have fallen out of favor the rugs not really that popular anymore the population of the region where the hurricane rugs were made, it became so rural that the Turkish government basically stopped trademarking the name. The Chinese jumped on it. Result, it is legal for the Chinese weavers to use the word hurricane in their rugs. And I talked about, I made many, several videos where I show you Chinese Herakay rugs and Turkish Herakay rugs. Well, here's an example of a new Herakay rug. And the sad thing is, the Turkish artist, he really cannot call himself a Herakay weaver, even though basically it is one. Because the Turkish government failed to do its job. And another government, in this case the Chinese, took it over. The Chinese can actually use the word Herakay in their carpets and the people that rightfully, this is my opinion, the people that have the rightful right to call them are not. So when you go in this case to the Kohan Ali website, and I'm going to actually put the link in the description below because I think these are fantastic weavers and it is such a pleasure 
to actually be able to be in front of the camera and share with many of you that have subscribed to my channel and you have heard me talk about the basically the demise of the Turkish rug weaving industry. Well, here is a beautiful example and I'm absolutely honored to be able to showcase it to you. I wish there were more of them out here and this is a very fine piece. I'm going to get, as I always do, I'm going to get behind the camera here in a minute and I'm going to show you features of the rug that you really do not find in any other type of silk rug. I mean, this is what really makes the Herakis what they are. But I wanted to basically give you a quick overview. It's a different way. I'm going to talk about the layout of the framing of how they got this done without the use of nails. Also, then I'm going to introduce you to Kohan Ali and the rugs that he makes. So I'm going to see you as soon as I get behind the camera there. We're going to continue. So here we are back again, as always, from behind the camera. And in one of my other videos, I talked about hanging Persian rugs, how we use actually nails and clamps. And then I have videos where I feature this world map rug. Because, um, you know, I always have to point it out. This is really one of my, own, well, it's my own design. So I'm being a little bit snobbish here. We also had videos where I talked, where I showed you actually this piece right here behind the glass. And you can look that if you go to my channel, the MP Rugs, and you'll see it. Um, but in this video, I want to, this is going to be all about this Heraki piece. But as I talked about, there are multiple things going on here. So first of all, Let's talk about, which I think is an absolute beautiful way to display this Herakay. And I'm just going to step up here. So this is what it looks like from about two meters, about six and a half feet away. Absolutely beautiful. And what you can see here is when you go up close, they did not use any nails at all. So, I'm just going to zoom out as much as I can. As you can see here, the rug is mounted at the very top. They simply put a slit. They put a cut in the top, put the fringes through, and the fringes are kept in place in the back by a wood, a stick that goes across and basically presses the fringes up against this backboard and so they did not have to use any nails any screws and I think it's absolutely beautiful how it's done and then they just have it hanging and so in the back of it also very well done like I said nothing but compliments from me I think this is just absolutely Beautiful. It's a very nice way to display um, a very fine rug. Um, as far as, um, I don't know how much the cost would be, but this is obviously something that you can ask. But at least so there you have it. If you want an idea, this is one of many different ways. So I hope that this video is of help to you. And if you are just looking for tips on framing rugs or hanging rugs. You can pretty much end the video here because next I'm going to be talking about this particular Herakir rug. It's a very unique piece. It's a very fine piece. And so that's why I just want you to know. So to go on to, um, first of all, this is a 1414 quality Herakir. And what that means is that it has 14 knots per centimeter. So the knots are less than one millimeter. I mean, this is extremely fine. This weaver, Kohan Hali, um, and I'm, I, I'm probably going to be uh, screwing up his, I cannot pronounce the Turkish names. Actually, I've been told by my family I should not be pronouncing any Middle Eastern names. 
But um, this weaver, this workshop is actually in existence. And this particular piece, it's not only basically a new piece, but what sets this apart from all the others is the fact that the weave, the workshop, this would be sold as a Heracle rug. But because, and I'm sorry to use the word, I don't know how else to put it. The idiots, and I'm being actually, I think, very polite. In the Turkish government, many years ago, decided to let go of the word Heracle. The Chinese came in and swooped it up. And so as a result, fine art pieces like these. The weavers have, in my opinion, every right to advertise themselves as Heracle weavers. Instead, you have artists who are paying respect to a tradition that goes back centuries. And they are literally selling this as a Heracle style Turkish silk rug. I have nothing but respect to the people who are able to make these types of rugs. And I think this is just a perfect example of how, in my opinion, a government offered, gave a disservice to its people. Now, to talk about some of the features in this carpet. Um, if you look closely, I'm going to zoom in. But first, I wanted to show you what it is. I'm, I want you to get a feel. Do you, do you notice how this is starting to emerge somewhat checkered? And I'm just going to hold the camera here at an angle. You can see it. This is actually... If, when you, if you were to be here standing next to me, this is done on purpose and it's a weaving technique. All of this right here in real life, it looks like clouds. I mean, this is what I'm just, this is what art is all about. Using different techniques of tying in the knots they gave it this checkered look, which from a distance, it looks like rain clouds. So here you have the sky and where it looks almost as if there were clouds or gloom. This is actually woven into the rug. It's absolutely unbelievable how they did it. The degree of difficulty. The challenge of making this rug, nothing but respect to the weavers, the designers. I mean, the workshop, you have a level of detailing that is next to none. This right here is a perfect example of what the Turkish Heracle rugs are all about. It's a disgrace that, in my opinion, the Turkish government allowed the name Herike to be taken over by others. This is a perfect example of what a fine Turkish Herike rug is all about. So there you go. I had to show you this. This is extremely rare to find brand new, basically a new, still functioning, still operational Turkish rug weaving workshop. Most of them have closed long time ago, like the Aussie packs and all the other ones. But here you have a beautiful workshop that still continues to weave the rugs in the old Turkish tradition. And I thought it would be a shame not to showcase this rug. So I hope as always that you enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave me any questions in the comments section. The link, I'm going to put the link to the Kohan Hali uh, website below. If you are into Turkish rugs, please feel free to check them out. Unfortunately, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting them yet, but um, this is obviously something I would like to do in the future. So 
uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to visit us at mprugs.com. Best wishes from all of us, and we'll be coming back to you with more videos as time goes on. Take care. Bye-bye.